Jupyter is a DEX aggregator and one of the biggest protocols on Solana. But can it be bigger? Well, I do believe so, as Solana will grow, so will Jupyter, and right now I think we're pretty much at a low. We can go easily 5x from here, but on today's video we are going to look at the ways we can profit from this protocol that has proven to be a pillar in Solana's ecosystem. That's what we will be exploring today, so welcome back on the channel guys. In this video we will look into Jupyter, a protocol I talked briefly before when covering the best yield farming protocols on Solana, and I do believe that the best times are yet to come for Jupyter. I believe it's a tremendously underrated protocol with still plenty of margin for growth. So this time we will explore it deeper and understand why it has been a crucial piece in the Solana ecosystem, as well as how can we invest in it to generate passive income, also known as yield farming. Ready? Let's dive in. Let's start by covering a little bit of what Jupyter is. What is a DEX aggregator? And to put it simply, DEX aggregator is a DeFi protocol that allows users to access multiple liquidity pools in different protocols. For example, when we swap or trade our tokens on a regular decentralized exchange, a DEX, we are limited to the pools that the DEX has available. Now imagine that when we want to swap or trade, there are no barriers and all liquidity pools on a given blockchain are available. That's exactly what the DEX aggregator does. Allows users to access basically all the liquidity on chain, no blocks, no barriers. And by using Jupyter, users can access liquidity on major DEXs on Solana, Radium, Orca, Meteora, just to name a few. But all the others will also be aggregated by Jupyter. This makes life much easier for traders on multiple levels. One of the main benefits is that traders will spend less in fees. From this, we can understand that Jupyter is a crucial protocol to Solana since it improves on-chain trading in a blockchain that is mostly used by traders. The volume on Solana is among the top across DeFi and it is often that we see Solana having the highest daily volume, even surpassing Ethereum or BNB, two very popular and heavy used chains. And because of that, Jupyter is a piece that fits perfectly into the Solana ecosystem. Basically, Jupyter is infrastructure for trading, allowing traders also to leverage their trades by tapping into their own liquidity pool. And right now on screen, we can see all of Jupyter's products. This liquidity pool that allows users to leverage their trades is the perpetual trading feature of Jupyter. So let's check it out. Now, like I mentioned before, the goal of the video is showing you ways to invest with Jupyter, earning passive income by yield farming. And for that reason, we'll click here on the Earn tab because that will allow us to deposit into the pool I just mentioned, where traders will go and borrow funds to leverage their trades. Now, in order for some users to borrow, there will be the need for others to deposit funds here, so they're lending their assets to others. This is a pool that accepts deposits in five major crypto assets. Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin in the version of wrapped Bitcoin. It's not going to be native Bitcoin since we are operating on Solana, of course. And then there will be two stable currencies, USDT and USDC. If you deposit into this pool, you get to enjoy rewards generated from the trading activity on the platform. When traders borrow from the pool, they pay interest, which is automatically compounded in the pool, making it to be completely passive income. The principle is similar to borrowing and lending protocols, but here depositors get to hold GLP tokens as a receipt, a proof of their deposit. The amount of GLP they get is proportionate to the share of the pool they own, which depends on the deposit amount, of course. So let's sum up the risks and rewards of using Jupyter's pool. When it comes to rewards, liquidity providers get to earn 75% of the generated fees from opening and closing trades. Now looking at the risks, of course the value of the GLP token can be affected by market volatility. It depends on the performance of the five mentioned underlying assets in the index fund. So these are the five currencies that make up for the Jupyter pool. If they do perform good, 
better for you if you're a Jupyter holder. If they do perform bad, well, you'll see that the value of your Jupyter token will go down. And in this pool, we are talking about JLP because Jupyter has another token, the Jup token, that is going to be a different one used for governance. So this is the one that you will be exposed if you want to take part on the pools because being a trading platform, there's a lot of volume happening here. Like we mentioned before, they have a, a ton of volume going through because they are one of the biggest protocols in Solana and they're fully dedicated to be infrastructure for trading. And if you are definitely interested in trading, check out their Ape feature. This is Ape.pro, a specialized meme coin trading platform introduced by Jupyter designed to enhance the trading experience on the Solana blockchain. Let's cover some of the key features of Ape Pro. So right now you can see real-time token streaming, providing up-to-date information on newly launched tokens, helping traders to discover new opportunities quickly. With the Hunt Gems tab, you also get to see real-time feed of new and graduating tokens. Other features that Ape.pro offers is MEV protection to protect against MEV attacks, ensuring fairer trading conditions, intelligent fee optimization. This will automatically adjust fees and minimize costs for traders. So if you are serious about trading, that's a very important aspect. Of course, you want to keep your costs as low as possible. You can also log into Ape.pro by using your social media accounts. So you can use that or the traditional option with login via your App3 wallet. So I guess it's fair to say that Ape Pro aims to provide a seamless, secure and efficient trading experience for meme coin enthusiasts on Solana. Now back to the Jupiter's product. So we took a look at the Perpetuals DEX on Jupiter, but they can also offer you the possibility to just simply swap tokens as usual. That's one of the most basic functions on DeFi, just swap one token for another. You can set up also limit orders. So if you're wanting to trade at the price that it's not the current price, you can use that to your advantage, of course. Also dollar cost averaging. So if you are looking, for example, to buy Solana, if you're bullish on Solana and you don't want to buy at a specific point in time, but rather just invest a specific amount each day, you can set up your DCA option. And that is just as simple as choosing what token and which amount you want to allocate and which token you want to buy. And then you'll be able to choose a time frame and how many orders you want that to happen. So let's set an example for daily buys. Let's say you have thousand dollars you want to invest into Solana and you want it to dollar cost average so what you need to do is input here a thousand dollars and then from the every section you would choose every day of course there's other options you can set it to be weekly monthly hourly or even by the minute and you can also divide this for a specific number of orders so if I would let it to be as it is it would buy me in two different days so total of two orders, it would be $500 in each order. If you want a dollar cost average through a longer time, you can set it to be, for example, $100 per day. So that would be buying every day over 10 orders. From there on, you just need to accept the transaction in your wallet and you would be set to go. For the next 10 days, you would be buying Solana every single day. Value average is a strategy that works similar to dollar cost averaging, but this one focuses on equal growth of the portfolio instead of equal investments. We already covered perpetuals and the GLP pool, but you can also buy Jupe Sol, which is their own validator. When you are buying into this, you are investing in Jupiter's validator for the Solana network. So overall, JupSol represents staked Solana tokens with Jupyter's validator, hosted and managed by Triton. So this is a simple way to become a liquid staker if you are already within the Jupyter ecosystem. This might be something that you are interested in. Because once again, liquid staking is a process that provides you passive income. This is also completely passive. 
you stake your tokens there into Jupyter's validator. And as the blockchain operates, it generates revenue. Those validator rewards are then collected and passed along to stakers for maximum yield. Now, Jupyter is a huge protocol and they also have their own decentralized autonomous organization. For each, if you want to take part in it, you'll need to own and stake the GUP token. So there's going to be different tokens. We already mentioned the JLP. That refers to the liquidity pool that lends tokens to borrowers who want to trade with those. And then there's going to be the JUP JUP token, which is the governance one for the platform. When you stake your JUP tokens, you earn voting power that you can use to vote into the ecosystem's decisions. You can see down here, there's a ton of different proposals that the people who have voting power, the stakers of the JUP token, can take part in. DAO is quite substantial with over 450 million JUP tokens staked from over 629,000 unique addresses. And here on CoinMarketCap's chart, we can see that the current price of Jupiter is $1.18. It's climbing up. I think it's going to reach all-time high. And it's not necessarily something that will occur short term, but I believe that for the year, the upcoming year of 2025, we will see this all-time high of around $1.75 to be completely crushed. I think Jupiter is a protocol which is tremendously undervalued right now there's a ton of different ways you can earn passive income with it we just covered those here on today's video and i think this bullish uptrend will keep growing and growing until a new all-time high is set and i think easily jupiter can hit five dollars from here if not even more i like to be a bit conservative in my price predictions but i think 5x from here is definitely something which is definitely achievable not only because it's a crucial part of solana but also because solana itself it's currently eating away some of ethereum's market cap it's growing in comparison and the sheer fact that solana grows will definitely pump up the main pieces of their ecosystem those will be the first following along solana's price appreciation and jupiter is definitely going to be one of those in my opinion but also let me know what do you think on the comments down below do you think i'm spot on do you not agree with something let me know in the comments and share your opinions with the community as solana grows it is only natural that jupiter follows the same path since it is such an important piece in the ecosystem this growth will mean more benefits to token holders for example more trading volume means more fees earned by the depositors in the jlp pool also so all of the tokens within jupiter ecosystem will definitely benefit not only jup not only jlp that being said guys i hope you took value from the video and if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'll get back to you asap also share with the community in the comments your thoughts on jupiter are you holding are you enjoying your rewards or are you just using it for trading what has been your experience with it so far let us all know in the comments your experience does matter and can help out another explorer who is wondering about the platform so thank you for watching like and subscribe if you found value in the video Take care because as you know crypto is still a wild world and we explorers must keep our eyes open. I'll see you on the next one.